Hello, beautiful family. We thank you for fulfilling your promise to coming back to cook with Regina YouTube channel. God bless you. On today's menu, we are taking you through the process of cooking a salted jollof rice with my family. Let's do this together. God bless the farmer, the cooker and the eater. Amen. We start by sweeping to keep the surrounding clean. Wash the plantain leaves. Walk along the pathway bringing in our ingredients. Arrange them beautifully on the plantain leaves and introduce them. Today's ingredients are rice, cucumber, spring onion, chicken, carrots, eggs, onion, natural spices, tomatoes, gizzard, bell pepper, tomato paste, cabbage and oil. Our ingredients are ready for today's recipe. We put charcoal into the coal pot, light up the fire and fan it. Wash the chicken and put it into the pot on fire. Add gizzard, add chicken spices, add salt, there and cover to boil. Wash the carrots, tomatoes, onions, bell pepper, spring onions and begin to slice. a pan on fire, check the boiling chicken and gizzard, stir and cover to keep boiling.
oil into the pan and leave it to be hot. Pour the sliced ingredients into it and stir. Stir to fry for some few minutes. Add the natural spices which comprises of the bay leaves, rosemary, and kitten kitten, with the upper star and continue to stay. Cover to fry with the heat for some few minutes. Stir the chicken and gizzard on fire. Stir the ingredients till it's well mixed up. Leave it on the fire to fry for some time. Take out the ingredients from the pan into a blender and begin to blend. Add oil to the pan on fire, add the tomato paste into the hot oil and stay. Add the blended ingredients and stir together. Stir till it's well done.
take the chicken pot off the fire, add charcoal to the coal pot and put the eggs on fire to boil. We add our powdered pepper and stir. Add dead dill spices and stir together. Add maggi and continue to stay. Our egg balls, we take it off the fire, put it into a warm water and begin to crack. Put a pan on fire and add little oil to heat up. Add the rice to the pan containing the stew on fire and stir to mix. Add the chicken and gizzard water to give it a sumptuous taste. We now add water and stir together. and leave it to boil. Put the boiled eggs into the oil, turn it till it's well fried. Fry the chicken.
set the rice on fire, stir to avoid burning. Cover the rice with plantain leaves and leave it to cook. Keep turning the frying chicken till it's well fried. Take it off the oil and begin to fry the gizzard. Turn the gizzard till it's well fried, take it out from the oil, check on the rice on fire and stay. Cover the rice to keep cooking. Add salt to the cabbage, carrots, bell pepper, spring onions and onions in the calabash. Wash it and begin to slice.
slice the cucumber and check the rice. Crack some eggs, stir, put oil into a frying pan on the fire and begin to fry. Take the fried eggs off the fire. Put some shrimps and sliced vegetables into the frying pan. Stir, add the shrimps powder and continue to stir. a little powdered pepper and continue to stir together. Add some of the gizzard and chicken, stir and add to the jollof rice on fire. Add the fried eggs and stir so it's very well mixed. Add the remaining chicken, gizzard and the fried boiled eggs. With this assorted jollof rice, everything day inside. I bet you would love to try it. Cover the rice under a low medium heat and begin to slice the cabbage. Slice onions onto it. Add spring onions, slice cucumber and tomatoes into it.
add baked beans and a bit of salad cream onto it and mix together. Now you know we are almost through for garnishing. This is one of the best assorted Ghana jollof rice process you can find. Hope you love the process. Give us a thumbs up and leave your comments if you truly love this process. Thank you. We set our plantain leaves and begin to serve our food. We invite you to come join us and enjoy this sumptuous food. You are forever loved for showing us love. God bless you. Thank you for watching please subscribe like share and leave your comments see you in our next video stay safe thank you for watching